everyone. Uh, welcome back. I hope you had a productive um, mid-year break, teaching free week, whatever you like to call it. Uh, how, how was your mid-semester break, Andrew? Well, actually very good, thanks Louise. Um, spent some great time with my family. It was just a staycation, so but we did some stuff around home, went to Aqua and, you know, walks in the bush and things like that was lovely. Oh, that's really nice. The yeah. weather was great. That was It was. Sure. Yeah, we lucked out. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, we we did. did. And what about your stay in Germany? Well, trip to Germany, yeah? Yeah, so um, thanks for asking. The, yeah. the workshop in Germany went really well. So um, thanks to all of you for letting me basically go. Um, I did get a few emails from you. It was nice to hear from you and to hear how you were going. So yeah, the workshop was around nitrous oxide, which is a greenhouse gas, very potent greenhouse gas, and its concentration in the atmosphere has increased significantly since the Industrial Revolution. And that's basically in response to the application of nitrogen fertilisers. When we put fertiliser, nitrogen fertilisers onto ground, yep. uh, it stimulates microbial uh, activity and can result in the microbes producing nitrous oxide. Yeah. So the workshop uh, was around uh, a range of topics related to nitrous oxide from the molecular uh, control, you know, the control of the emissions at the molecular level uh, through to how to measure the fluxes and some of the issues related to that, and that's what I spoke about, uh, all, all the way through to modelers, modeling, and we had people from all over the globe. So it was great. Awesome. And then on the final day, the third day, we went up the Zugspitze, which is um, a, a well, it's the high point on the German Alps. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And so um, we went up there by cable car. You can actually ski up there, but we didn't. There's also an observatory there, and we got to go into some of the tunnels in the mountain and look at some of the um, observations that they're making. So, yeah, really interesting. It's a beautiful part of the world, and it's actually not far from where Matisse was brought up. Okay. So, yeah. worth the visit. It's a small world, isn't it? It is a small world. Yeah. So... But anyway, back to a little bit of reality. Um, <laughs> so what's coming oh, up? <laughs> what's coming up this week, um, Andrew? So we we actually finished soil chemistry this week. I, I know that you're all busting to have the rest of the semester of soil chemistry, but I've got to <laughs> hand over to Louise and soil biology. Um, so we'll be dealing with uh, cation exchange and soil acidity and acidification. They're pretty important issues, but we've just got two lectures to, to deal with them with. And of course, the soil chemistry labs are continuing on so that the cation exchange calculations plus measurement of organic carbon uh, and what else do we do? Soil pH and buffering. So, quite interlinked subjects there. Take that hint, all right? Could be useful. Um, and I believe there's uh, there's a bit, of a bit of homework to do as well, which Louise will probably talk about. Oh, the, one more thing. Lecture before Easter didn't work apparently. The, the audio is not there, the video is there, but the audio is not there. So I'll, I'll redo that. Um, the content may or may not be in your quiz, but it's worth me putting it up in audible format so you can actually revise for the quiz just in case. All right, so we'll, we'll make that happen before the quiz opens. Thanks, Andrew. It's a real pain when those recording gremlins get into the... Well, the, the gremlin <laughs> is probably here, actually. <laughs> it's okay. We all have moments. Um, so, that's great. Yeah, so now, by this stage, I'm hoping that you're putting your finishing touches on your uh, first written assignment, scientific report, which is due uh, Tuesday. Um, I'm looking forward to, to reading them and seeing what you've found. Um, so, I think that covers what's happening this week, Andrew. It is. Look, it'll be a good week. Look, the weather is <laughs> nice.